What's up everybody? Thanks for joining me today. I'm John from Hatch Duo, one of the partners here. And I'm here today to give you guys some tips on how to collaborate on Miro digitally. So part of the reason why I wanted to do this uh, quick little overview today was I've been hearing a lot, you know, with the times right now with COVID and sheltering in place, you know, work has changed. I recently just gave a talk for Wonderland. You guys can check that link out down there about, you know, what are some of the, the tools and disadvantages and advantages of working remotely. And for me, I think Mike and myself, we really believe the remote workplace. Uh, we were doing it, you know, as a startup already before COVID had hit. And so, you know, that transition was pretty seamless for us. And one of the really great tools we like to use is Miro. And I've been hearing a lot in the creative community that, oh, it's really hard to collaborate. I can't you know, I feed off of everyone. It's really hard to do critique. And so, you know, I just wanted to kind of share, you know, our workflow here at Hatch Duo because I feel like that maybe would give you guys, you know, just some a positive impact on, you know, some ways in which you guys can collaborate together. So this will just be a nice little overview and, you know, we can kind of get into some more details later. So let's get into it. So guys, what is Miro? You know, first of all, I discovered Miro from a friend and mentor of ours, David De Jesus. so shout out to him. Um, and we first discovered it, you know, maybe about, you know, close to a year ago. You know, we were already working on Slack primarily and sharing, you know, designs and concepts through that. But, you know, after discovering Miro, that really changed the way we do things here at Hatch Duo uh, for the better, really. And so Miro is a, a digital collaborative whiteboard platform. And so I'm at the site right now and basically you guys can see, you know, a little bit about how it works. Essentially there's like digital whiteboard where everyone can kind of join, everyone has their different cursors, and really like what this, well, admittedly this doesn't replace you know physical interaction but in a time like this when um, we all do need to be you know social distancing and sheltering in place, uh, I find that this is a really really good alternative, um, uh, if not a permanent replacement especially for companies that like to work digitally. Um, and the angle I'm going to take uh, for this video today is to really just show you guys how a creative team or a design team, design studio, will use this to work. And so, you know, we have we have Miro. Obviously, a lot of large companies also use Miro, and you can really, you know, scale this whatever your processes and needs are for your company. So we can go ahead and get right into it. So here's my dashboard, guys. Um, this is kind of the screen that you see. You sign up for Miro and um, you start to uh, create some boards over here to the left. And so this is really easy. Um, you can kind of see, you know, it's kind of like if you guys are familiar with Google Docs, how there's shared uh, documents. Same thing here. There's shared boards. Um, you know, different team members of mine will own or have access to some of these boards. And so I can kind of just get into a little bit of, of how I like to use it to work. And so, so I want to start to show you guys like how like to actually start to create a board. Just, you know, this is very basic level. I'm by no means an expert in Miro uh, per se, but this is just how we use it at Hatch Duo and at Aggregate. So you can see your mini map right down over here. So let's just say, you know, we want to go over here or we want to go over here, you can kind of just click, zoom out as needed, zoom in. A lot of times with uh, with uh, my business partner, we'll do a lot of, especially early on in our, you know, refinement of, of Hatch Duo, we'll do a lot of brainstorming and figuring out, you know, what, what the customer journey map is even for our clients. And so we really try to whiteboard this out. And if you guys are familiar with using post-it notes, we particularly love that process. And, you know, we kind of found it hard to replace that kind of, that level of spontaneous interaction with collaboration together before we discovered Miro. And so with Miro though, what we found was that you could really collaborate together. So let's just say, you know, I was creating a customer journey map, you know, trying to figure out what our sales funnel looks like with Mike. He and I were basically just throwing together a bunch of different post-it notes and you know, you can kind of see here like how we started to log that all out, right? We even talk about like, you know, different strategies that we want to do, things like that. So 
that's kind of like, you know, so Mike and I, we use a lot of this for our strategy sessions together. So even with my social media lead, Ariel, we're about to do a documentary style process video for YouTube and you know for other content. And so she is mapping out a really cool board for that over here along with myself and our clients. So we can kind of show you what that looks like. So pretty cool, right? Um, and you know, it highlights everything in pink whenever there's new changes made. You can integrate this with Slack as well, which is pretty cool. So you'll get, you know, one-to-one -one updates on that. You know, you can put, put little comments and links. And the really cool thing about this is, uh, this really just feels like, you know, like whiteboard space. And so with a company like ours, where we have a very tiny little studio, but you know, more clients than we can fit into one studio, we can kind of create these war rooms uh, or project rooms, so to speak, uh, onto Miro where we can collaborate, right? And so you can kind of see here, like we're just kind of brainstorming. This is just really great for collaboration, whether it's like, hey, like, you know, she's on lunch right now and I want to like put some notes here, she'll see this later, or maybe we do have a collaboration session together, me and Ariel, and we're both just putting, you know, notes onto the board simultaneously and kind of brainstorming together. So this is really good for that. And so I even use Miro for aggregate, right? So, you know, when we're product road mapping and trying to figure out where we want to take our projects and product line, you know, we'll start with, you know, post-it notes such as this, right? And then sometimes if we get inspiration that strikes, we'll start to sketch and we'll actually put the sketches onto here. And so you can see these images are actually cut and paste, very easy to you know cut and paste into this program. And I'll show you guys a little bit later, technically how that's all done. But what's really cool too, is that there are the things, these things called frames, right? So in Miro, you can set up basically, you know, within this infinite, almost pretty much infinite digital whiteboard, you can actually create what's called a frame. And, and you can kind of think of a frame like a digital work board that sits on that table. So if we assume that this whole thing is a table, that frame kind of uh, consolidates all your, you know, those ideas onto that one, you know, project or frame. And so, you know, you can kind of see here, if I click my frame, you can see, you know, here's kind of all our brainstorming. And then, you know, in phase two, we started to take some of those ideas and render them out. And so, you know, let's show you guys a little bit, just for fun. You know, here's some some chopsticks. Here's a, a planter that our team has done. And so you can really see how you can start to track your progress digitally. And in some ways, it's more advantageous than a physical wall because, you know, physical wall, there's only so much physical space. Whereas here, I mean, I think the, the real estate is infinite, right? You can kind of just keep building your different phases of development. And then, you know, someone like myself or another design director could come in, look at the team and kind of track that progress, put notes. And so what's really cool here is I'll take my, uh, my pen here and I can even just go ahead and, and draw directly on here, right? Maybe I'll say that's like a color break or whatnot. And I, or I can even put, you know, a sticky note here to say, let's explore different materials, right? And then I can tag. And so, yeah, there's just a bunch of different things you can do here. I mean, you can even open up, you know, a video chat together. Like if, let's just say we're having a, you know, a design team meeting, we can basically open up this video chat icon here and we can actually have our little video uh, screens pop up on the side as well. So that's what's really cool here. And I'm sure like, you know, so kind of went over how like, you know, a post-it note brainstorming would kind of go, you know, on this platform. So let's kind of get it into, you know, what it looks like when you're trying to show design concepts. So that's been something that a lot of industrial designers, you know, friends of mine, people in my network, have been saying it's really challenging for them at their studio or for you know them to kind of figure out even in school like how do you kind of you know evaluate like that wall right so a lot of you who may may work um, in the industrial design community you know we're used to putting up you know a wall of sketches or a wall of concepts where you know the design director will come and, and review and so how do we do that right um, so I'll kind of show you guys like what we do so you know on this board I have a bunch of stuff going on right 
and like I said, there's frames here. So let's go ahead and look at one of my project frames right here, right? So this is, you know, like for example, these are just some, some uh, you know, sketches that I pulled that I did for Third Eye Gen. Um, you can see how, you know, like let's just say we wanted to do like a concept review. I can basically take those images from my files and literally cut and paste them into this or drag and drop into this into this frame and they'll basically appear right and then and then essentially if we wanted to we wanted to like you know get a little bit more technical let's just say we were doing a design review and we're like hey like that you know this button's not going to work or you know let's not use that let's actually put you know a microphone vent here let's hide that you know you can start to just do this live almost as if this was like a live critique right so uh, for all you you know design studios or people working in design studios I think I really highly suggest this as a collaborative tool and then even for educators uh, design educators in particular you might want to consider this as well because I think just being able to have the overall impact the wall so to speak gives you a better sense of you know the overall context of, of the concepts being produced as well as just you know overall breadth of being able to see you know how your team is is coming up with the ideas and like how you'll be able to kind of mix and match which you know if you're just cut and pasting on slack for instance or or skype or zoom or whatever your 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 platform is before um, i think this this really kind of allows you to to uh, replicate that that in-person collaboration right so let's take a look over here you know you can see like I can basically separate my projects right and how I do that is again frames so if I want to look at this one earbud ideation I can look at that if I want to look at this one I can look there if we want to talk about you know Hatch Duo's business thesis and you know all this strategy stuff we can basically go here as well so you know this is a really cool tool my team and I use it you know sometimes we have team meetings of like six or more and you see all of our little cursors around here um, you know drawing and, and having a lot of fun together so highly recommend you guys try it and here let's let's just set up a, a, a frame right now let's just try try to figure out how to do this so let's just say let's create a frame so here's this frame let's call this demo so let's just assume we put some concepts in it right now, okay? So drag and drop, it's as simple as that. It is an online uh, platform, so it does some, some of the images, if they're high res, do take a while to load. But hey, like, yeah, you, this is almost like, you know, you're printing out your concepts, you're putting it on the wall. Let's just say, I mean, for all case and purposes for this demo, let's just assume these are all separate concepts. We're all in a critique. We're talking, talking through together. We're going to vote. And, you know, I'm sure you guys have been in design critique where you use sticky notes to vote. So let's just say, you know, we, we give everyone, you know, their choice. And so maybe one person chooses that one, you know, and we have different colors for, for everyone. So you can start to see, you know, a spread and maybe, you know, let's just say we type why we like it, like, like the stray, like the uh, chord detail, gradient, CMF is cool, etc. right? I mean, so you can see how um, this is really advantageous to do kind of like to replicate as close as you can to in person, but also if you have distributed teams like we do, we have actually interns from uh, Korea right now and you know they're a completely different time zone than us and so being able to kind of like put this all digitally they can actually see and track what our activity is and kind of almost even though even if they're not able to necessarily uh, participate in the critique that day they're able to kind of review like how we uh, critiqued that session uh, the next day so 
Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, obviously this is very baseline and just to give you an overview of how Hatch Duo likes to use this tool as a collaboration tool, you know, click some of our links down below in the description to learn a little bit more. And, you know, if you have any questions, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more tips to come. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Bye.